Good afternoon and happy Sunday. It is the 13th of December and I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. I know, I am. I am loving it. I've just made myself a delicious Yorkshire Biscuit Brew cup of tea. It is steaming hot, just the way that I love it. Let's take a sip. Mm. I'm also munching on a newfound favourite that I found today. These are Malteser truffles and I bought these for a recipe I'm going to make tomorrow. It's a big hint of what it is. Out of a big box of how many, I only need 10, so the rest I can munch on and devour. So I've just treated myself to two for the moment, <laughs> but they are so delicious. If you are a Malteser fan and like truffle-y type things, then these are a definite go for. I would recommend them. Today's goal is to finish our table runner. I'm going to sew up all of the blocks that I finished last night. We're going to find a backing in and amongst all of my Christmas fabrics. We're going to baste it and quilt it and bind it and finish it. Hopefully. I feel pretty confident that we will get it finished today if I just sort of fully put my mind to it and just get it done. So I have two sort of like square tubs full of Christmas fabrics. I think a lot of them are mainly like fat quarters and smaller pieces. I can't really quite remember if I have like larger pieces of Christmas fabric because for this one I'm going to need at least a metre of some sort of Christmas fabric mainly because of the width of the block and also the length of what the table runner is going to be. I just had a thought I also need to make sure I have enough like wadding or like craft pellen or something to put in the middle of it. I'm sure I have something. Yeah, I'm not panicking about that just yet. So here is the first box. Hmm. I also have to find something that's kind of going to match the colours of the Christmas trees. I have that. That's got Christmas koalas on it. But how big a piece of you you have been used? No. Okay. Maybe not. Okay, so my first box of goodies here wasn't very successful. There's nothing much in it. So I'm going to get my next box out and hopefully something will be in there. Well, that was half a mission. <gasps> Ooh, there's lots of fun things in here. Wow. Oh my gosh, I always forget just how much Christmas fabric I have. And just how much I love it all. And look how lovely I folded it all. Mm. I am so impressed with this. I think this was like during my Marie Kondo phase. I just watched it and I was like, oh, I gotta do that to all my fabric. Now I'm just hoping <laughs> that there's something in here that's going to be big enough. Oh, there's one with Christmas trees on it. No. Oh, there's lots of fabric here that says Bar Humbug. A humbug. That's pretty. I have lots of this one. This is a fabric I backed my advent calendar with. You know what? That is actually quite a fun little match. Ooh. I don't know whether the camera really picks up the colours, but it actually doesn't go that bad. I like that. And I think, it feels like it, that there will be quite enough of that. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, there's so much of this. Okay, found it. This is a win for the backing. We might even use this as the... I think we'll use this as the binding as well. Yay! Win. Score. Okay, happy about that decision. since I last chatted with you. I have sewn together five of the six blocks into the table runner. The reason why I only did five blocks is because I could only find this size piece of a batting that was like long enough. It was part of my scraps so I didn't have to like cut into any like newer type batting. Also it's white so it won't sort of dull the colour of the, the table runner if I were to use like a creamy type bedding. So this was long enough for just five blocks. So I've got the last block up here on the wall and I might make that one into a pillow. We'll see what happens. And then I've just sewn together 
two pieces of the fabric for the backing. This is just it's about 19 inches wide by the width of fabric and I've just sewn two pieces together and I think that should be long enough. I hope. I don't know. I haven't sort of like tested it. I'm just kind of like winging it here. <laughs> I don't have time to measure things. It's definitely wide enough because I definitely made sure. Oh yeah. It should just work I think. Right. I'm just going to layer these all down and we'll get some basting up in here. Basting should be easy enough. I should be able to just do it here on my table, which is always a nice thing because I hate basting. You all know this. I hate basting with a pure passion. Here's what we're working with. This piece of batting is just wide enough. I haven't got a whole lot of room for like mistakes or things to move or anything like that. So yes but this is what it looks like and then it goes a little bit down there i'm so happy that my just winging it actually turned out all right <laughs> it's always great when that happens now i have a little bit of basting spray i'm only going to do like a really light generous spray i'm not going to be going like a gun ho heavy like i usually do it'll just be a nice light spray and then i gotta figure out how i'm gonna quilt it Obviously it's going to be straight lines because that's what I love doing. It's just making a choice of whether to go lines down along the length of the table runner or I do lines down the width or should I do like a cross hatch pattern? I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to stand here and stare at it for a little bit and wait for some sort of inspiration or decision to spring into my head. My table runner is now basted and it's all ready for quilting. It's just the only problem is I still don't know how I'm going to quilt it. So I think while I get dinner ready, I'm going to have a bit of a squeeze on Pinterest and see if something tickles my fancy, if some sort of inspiration hits and I think, yeah, that's going to look great with my table runner. I've got the kettle boiling and my mug ready. It's time to see what is in today's advent calendar. It is the 13th. I can't see 13 on here. Oh, there it is, all the way down the corner. 13, down here in the corner, which is why I couldn't see it. Gingerbread treat. Oh, we haven't had that one before, have we? We haven't had this one before, puppy. Oh, it's not good. Pretty sure we haven't had this one. Maybe we have. Oh, I can't remember. Gingerbread treat. Oh, maybe it was like the first one that we had. So this one has organic black tea with cinnamon, ginger apple, and cardamom. Our first day of Vlogmas, we had this one. So the kettle has just boiled. From what I can remember, I'm pretty sure I liked this tea. Usually any black tea I like. <laughs> now that our tea is made, we'll sip on this while we quilt the table runner. I think I know how I'm going to do it now. I'm just going to do straight lines down the length of the table runner. I saw some really nice ones on Pinterest and uh, I was like, yeah, I think that will do really well for my table runner. I didn't want it to be too like intricate or fancy, just something simple. And what's more simple than lovely straight lines? We'll find some good music to play, possibly either Christmas or the new Taylor Swift album. Don't know yet. And we'll just have a nice evening quilting. Another wild night spent in my sewing room, drinking tea and sewing. Happy days. Hello. You haven't been in the vlog for a couple of days, have you, puppy? Oh, I've got my sewing buddy. Hello, puppy. You're going to keep me company while I quilt tonight, aren't you, puppy? Oh, oh you're a gorgeous boy. Oh, beautiful boy. So before I get started in my quilting quest for tonight, 
I want to just do a quick taste test of the tea, gingerbread treat. We have had this before and I'm pretty sure I do like it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tastes like black tea with a nice little twist of ginger heat. So for my quilting stitch, I'm actually going to set my machine on a bit of a longer stitch. I usually sew on a two and a half stitch length for all the sewing that I do. Uh, quilting, I might take it up to three and a half. Or three. No, we'll do three and a half. No, we'll make a three. <laughs> Can't decide. No, I bumped it up to a three for the stitch length. And yeah, we're ready to go. later and I have finished quilting the table runner it um <laughs> I mean it's okay I mean it's obvious that I've rushed it but it's not perfect but it's it will do it will do I've kind of gone for like the non perfectly spaced lines so just really random type quilted lines it's moved and pocket a little bit but I'm not that worried it comes out once a year and is usually covered with stuff so it's not a big deal as I was quilting it I was thinking of doing a technique that I've only done once and sort of like horribly failed on it but I'm willing to give it another go and that is to do machine sewn binding so to sew the binding on purely just with the, with the sewing machine. Usually I sew on the binding to the front of like the quilt and then I hand sew it to the back. This time I'm going to do it all on the machine. I did it once for a demonstration at work. Majority of it worked but I failed horribly on the corners and yeah so I just like oh, I'm never doing that again. I can achieve better results by doing it by hand but this time I want to give it another go. I want to see how easy it is because I know a lot of people rave on about it. So I'm going to use the same fabric that I used for the backing for the binding. So I'm just going to cut my binding strips out and give it a go. the final reveal till I realized that it's absolutely covered in lint and dog hair because it's just been like sprawled all across the floor as I've been quilting and binding. Just have to say sewing my binding with the sewing machine was a success. I can't speak. It was a success. A lot easier than what I remember doing in a demonstration at work and I just sort of took my time and was just really chill and relaxed about it but it worked really well. I had one little boo-boo but it's not noticeable. So here it is. Here's my finished table runner. -da -da. So I ended up doing the alternate trees so that we can see trees on either side of the table whichever way we're gonna sit did this beautiful merry and bright type backing and then did the same with the binding let's try and get up nice and close to my beautiful work I've done here I'm really really happy with it here comes the dog corners worked out really well as well on the front and also on the back not that you can see it on the back as well it looks really cool so I'm super happy with that hello 
So tomorrow we'll clear off the table, our kitchen table that is, and we'll see what it looks like. But I am very, very happy with that. Ta-da! Well, now that that's finished, that's me for the day. I am tired. The dog has come and found me, which means he's ready for bed. And so I think I am too. Thank you as always for joining me today. I hope you all had a lovely Sunday and have a good week ahead. Tomorrow I am making something yummy and delicious with you all. And it involves Maltesers. So if you're a Malteser lover, then stay tuned because I'm very excited about making it and eating it. So thanks again for watching and I will see you again tomorrow for Vlogmas 15. Bye bye!